In this video, we'll be taking apart the AGM Pad P1. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Next, heat needs to be applied to the screen with either a hairdryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath the screen, and then a plastic pry tool can be used to pry the screen off. The screen can now be gently lifted over, but be careful since the flex cable for the screen is still attached to the main board. The yellow protective tapes over the connectors need to be removed. At this point, the battery cable can be disconnected. The lock for the connector on the screen cable needs to be lifted up for the cable to be released. Here's a better look at the back of the screen. The red and black speaker cables, as well as the microphone cable on the top can be removed or disconnected by just removing the cable side to side and pulling them out. The locks or latches on the rest of the connectors need to be lifted up to release them. Also, the coaxial cables on the main board can be disconnected by just popping them off. There are five Phillips screws which are holding down the main board. There's also a plastic latch holding onto the main board. Taking a closer look at the main board, we can see the SIM card and memory card reader located here, as well as the charger port which is soldered to the board. Once the shield cover has been removed, we can see a thermal pad on top of the processor and this chip over here. And here's the other side. There are 12 more Phillips screws which need to be removed. This is the speaker on the right side. 
there is a rubber gasket and mesh filter over the opening of the speaker. And this is the other speaker, which also has a rubber gasket and mesh filter over the opening. The flex cable for the volume keys and power button is also located on the speaker, which can be peeled off and removed. To remove the battery, there is a pull pouch provided to help you pry it off. Here's a better look at the 7000 mAh battery. This is the 5 megapixel front facing camera and proximity sensor. And here's a look at the 8 megapixel primary camera and LED flash. Finally, there are two Phillips screws holding down the headphone jack. There are three antenna flex cables on the top or side depending on how you hold the tablet. For the repairability score on this tablet, I give it a 5 out of 10. Now it's time to reassemble the device. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the screen. Power it on and you're done. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.